Now, I'm going to tell you a dirty little secret in economics that's just going to change the ballgame for the way we think. What causes productivity? When Robert Solo won the Nobel Prize on economic growth theory, he let the cat out of the bag. He said, we used to believe that productivity, which is the whole key to economic success, is based on putting capital to labor. You put a lot of capital per worker, you increase productivity. But he says, the problem is, when we study this, that only accounts for 14% of all the productivity of the Industrial Revolution. Where did the other 86% of the productivity come from? He said, we don't know. Can you imagine the economists don't know? The reason is they haven't studied the laws of thermodynamics. Because when economists penned classical and neoclassical economic theory, Adam Smith, Baptiste say, the rage at that point was Newtonian physics. So they use all the metaphors. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So we have the invisible hand and the pendulum of supply and demand. The laws of thermodynamics weren't discovered until the late 19th century by engineers and chemists. And by that time, economics already was settled. But as you know, it's the laws of thermodynamics that actually govern economic activity. We have low entropy inputs in nature, both embedded energy and material form, loose energy. We transform it. Every time there's a transformation, we lose energy in the transformation. We have temporary utilities, and then eventually they go back to nature. Some of it is entropic loss, recyclable with a bill, and that's really what economics is about. So we now know in the last